shout out to Kwanku Dancor, I'm sorry, for sending me this story right here. The Trooper P's, like I said, are rolling out at a warp speed. And like I said, most of them so far are coming from what happened this past Wednesday at the Capitol. And this one right here will be no different. So in this picture, you see a man by the name of Larry Rendell Brock. And I believe he's out of Texas. And of course, you can tell by the picture, he was one of the ones that was at that invasion that occurred at the Capitol. But not only does the what makes this story so interesting and so funny is not the fact that he got caught and busted. It's the fact of who snitched on him, even though he kind of snitched on himself because his face was all in the camera. But it was his ex-wife that picked up the phone and called and alerted the FBI and told them, yeah, I know that guy. That's my ex-husband and go get him. And that's exactly what they did. Now, what's interesting is that this guy used to have a position in the military, but at this point, nothing is surprising me because there have been reports of, of course, cops, uh, military personnel, even people who own businesses who were out there. So it was all kinds of walks of life that attended this event who cared more about, you know, uh, 45, who I said is on his way out versus thinking of their remainder of their future. But hey, it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article so we can get some more context behind it. The retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel, who's one of the Capitol insurrectionists last week, can thank his ex-wife for his arrest. As we reported, Brock was the guy photographed holding zip ties inside the Senate chamber and was pretty easy to ID as he was decked out in body armor, a military helmet, a tag with a Punisher skull, but his former spouse provided further intel to law enforcement. According to a federal affidavit, Brock's ex-wife of 18 years called the FBI National Threat Operations Center on Friday to turn him in. The woman told the feds she recognized him from his military getup, adding, I just know that when I saw this ha was happening, I was afraid he would be there. I think you already know he was there. It is such a good picture of him, and I recognize his patch. The affidavit says a second witness also reported Brock to the FBI the same day, telling the authorities it looks like him, and he has pilot wings on his chest in this picture. He was an A-10 pilot, worked at L-3, and he still has contacts that work with L-3 that knew he was flying to D.C. So the way they were able to identify him was not just because of his face, but because of what he had on. Kind of reminds you of the Triple P, the first one I did of this year, where that guy had it was dumb enough to wear his work ID and have his face all in the camera with his ID on his lanyard facing the front where you can see the company name and his picture. So these people are exposing themselves not so much by how they look in their fit in the face, but what they the attire that they have on. Because you see the second witness was able to break down to a T what he had on and what the patches represented. Brock was arrested shortly afterward and it is facing one count of knowingly entering or remaining in any restricted building or grounds without lawful authority and one count of violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. As for why he did what he did, he says it's because the president asked for his supporters to be there to attend and I felt like it was important. Notice he said felt like to be there to attend, but you know, of course, they took it a step further, but you know. The, to those out there watching, this is exactly why 45 got banned on a lot of social media platforms. Because notice that none of them said that they're out there for their own benefit. They're all, for the most part, saying that they're out there because 45 said to go. And they went. But at the end of the day, these are grown people who could have said, okay, I'm not going to go because I don't know how this is going to turn out. Because see, some of them are already crying the blues because they can't fly anywhere. They can't go into certain businesses or they're losing their jobs or they're catching these charges. Well, that's what comes with the revolution. It's not supposed to look pretty. And now they're finding out the hard way. And see, he used to be in the military, so he should be used to this. He has denied any nefarious intentions with the zip ties, though, claiming he found them inside the Capitol and planned to return them to the police. <laughs> Are you serious? He found them in the Capitol. You found zip ties in the Capitol. Come on now. Even though you had them before you went in there. Come on now. Of course, another man was seen with zip ties and coupled with explosives being found near the 
area of the attempted coup. It sure seems like the riots could have been much worse. The FBI is still working on tracking down all involved and making arrests, but they're off to a pretty good start. That last part was funny. You saw how he tried to clear himself by saying, well, um, I found these zip ties. You know, I didn't have them on me. Okay. It's not like they can't go into records and, see, you know, purchase records and see if you actually bought them, especially if you bought it <clears throat> electronically. So, yeah, that's a nice little cover he tried to give himself. But let's be real here. He had them before he went in. He didn't find them inside the Capitol building. He been had those. But this was very interesting because, like I said, you had family members dying in the mouth. I think something happened with that Ashley Babbitt where I think they spoke with her daughter or some kind of relative. And she basically uttered in the tone of, well, she kind of got what she deserved. Like almost in that tone, not so much of a sad, somber one. So I don't know if it was a bad relationship with her mother there before she went or whatever. But that's basically how she sounded. And now you have this man's ex-wife of 18 years who dimed him out plus another witness who helped in so they was like okay well we take these two into account and this is the guy that we're going for so i have a feeling that a lot of the triple p's i'm gonna be bringing to y'all at least for the next few days or whenever they come in are all gonna stem from this event because so far that that's where all of them are coming from and i enjoy it you know what a way to kick off the year on this channel but anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, please text the number that is pinned down in the comments so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And I will talk to you in the next one.